Weight machines help you build your muscle mass faster because you can load more regardless of your fitness level or specific imbalances. They're also great for beginners, target specific muscles without tiring your whole body, and reduce the risk of injury. On the other hand, free weights might not build as much muscle fast, but they help you build power. Plus, free weights are versatile, work many muscles at once, including the smaller stabilizing ones, and boost overall strength. You can even use them for cardio and endurance. That's why a well-rounded routine should incorporate both. You can pretty much stop watching the video here. But you'll be missing out on me delving into intricate analyses, explanations, and studies. So, if you want to join me on this journey, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and let's get started. 1. How do you build muscle? When you engage in resistance training, such as weightlifting or bodyweight exercises, you create tiny tears in your muscle fibers. This process is known as muscle hypertrophy. The exercises should be challenging enough to stress the muscles, leading to muscle fiber damage. After a workout, the body repairs these damaged muscle fibers through a cellular process. It fuses muscle fibers together to form new muscle protein strands or myofibrils. These repaired myofibrils increase in thickness and number to create muscle hypertrophy. And that's growth. Technically, machines allow you to lift heavier even if you're a beginner, have muscle imbalances or weird biomechanics. For example, someone with poor ankle mobility and a stiff lumbar area might not be able to squat deep with perfect form if they lift heavy. Now you have two options. Learn to squat using the wall or a box. Mitigate poor ankle mobility by placing a plate underneath your heels. But this takes time. The other option, if you want to build muscle fast, is to use the leg press machine, which will allow you to lift heavy even if you're a beginner. Now, let's say you're a beginner. You may not know how to execute the perfect lunge. Your knees may cave in, and you may not be able to balance a barbell comfortably. But you want round glutes fast. In this case, the bridge machine will help you load more and obtain muscle hypertrophy in the glute area. And that brings us to the next point. 2. Why you want muscle? You may want to increase your muscle mass fast to look good, build a deposit of nutrients and proteins that boost your health or be overall more functional as you age. We already went through some examples in the previous section. For instance, you may want to build your legs and glutes fast because you want to look good. There's nothing wrong with that. And in that case, gym machines help you obtain hypertrophy faster. But if you're looking for long-term muscle building and functional strength, you should also use free weights. That's because using free weights like dumbbells and barbells challenges your balance. They allow you to move dynamically, and that prepares you for life. Plus, this dynamic training challenges your stabilizer muscles, which are markers of functional strength. So you'll be able to balance your groceries and your grandkids even as you're climbing stairs when you're 80. Another thing is that free weights build overall body strength even when you're targeting just one area of your body. For example, overhead shoulder presses require you to engage your glutes, abs, and triceps to push the dumbbells up. But the shoulder press machine takes the pressure off those areas so you can only focus on your shoulders. Although that builds maximal strength for your shoulders, it takes longer and doesn't improve your overall functional abilities. How easily bored do you get? You can't build muscle unless you're actively doing some form of strength training. And if you get bored easily, you'll tend to skip the gym. Unfortunately, using gym machines takes a lot of time. Lifting heavier also means taking longer breaks between sets. Conversely, lifting free weights allows you to employ other strategies to grow your muscles. You can incorporate plyometrics, supersets, add pulses, or try different variations of the same exercises. But machines just allow you to play with the speed, weight, and number of reps. So, although they can create more muscle hypertrophy faster, they're not as entertaining. Plus, I can build a 20-minute total body workout with dumbbells that will leave you sweating and pumped, basically building your cardiovascular endurance, muscles, and functional strength. But 20 minutes on a gym machine can target a specific muscle better than dumbbells. What does the science say? I'll cut the suspense. The science says nothing we didn't already cover. Basically, both free weights and machines can be effective for increasing muscle strength and hypertrophy, with the choice largely depending on individual training goals and preferences. Honestly, that's fairly disappointing, but it's common sense. For example, one meta-analysis compared the effects of free weight versus machine-based strength training on muscle building, specifically focusing on maximal strength, hypertrophy, and jump performance. 
The review included 13 studies with 1,016 participants, 789 men and 219 women. I'll include the link to this study in the description box below. Strength gains in free weight exercises were found to be more significant in free weight tests, whereas machine-based training tended to increase strength more in machine-based tests. Basically, you're good at what you're training at. However, no significant differences were found between the two modalities when directly compared for dynamic strength, isometric strength, jump performance, and hypertrophy. The study concludes that the choice between free weights and machines should be based on individual preferences and goals. The principle of specificity suggests that strength changes are specific to the training modality. Therefore, athletes should choose exercises based on their specific strength goals. For muscle hypertrophy, either modality can be effective, and combining both might result in more complete hypertrophy. In summary, it's just like I said at the beginning of this video. Machines help beginners and people with imbalances or reared biomechanics get jacked faster. Free weights are better long-term, especially because they help you build strong muscles and functional strength. So, you should aim to use both free weights and machines in your workouts. Now, tell me what you think. Does this video confirm your experiences at the gym? What training method do you mostly use, and which do you mostly avoid? Remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and let's move the talk to the comments.